Okie dokie. In this problem, they're asking us something about concave down, concave up, and then they mention some f prime value not equaling zero, so let's kind of break it down. Concave up means where the graph has this open shaped U curve appearance. Concave down is where it's opening downward. So something to keep in mind is that we don't need to see the entire U-shaped curve for it to be concave up or down. So what I mean is we could see just this red curve is considered concave up because it mimics at least some of the behavior of this concave up U-shape. This is the other half of concave up. So we could see either of these red curves and call them both concave up. Same thing with concave down. We could see this or this. So you get the idea. This down here is concave down. This is concave up. When we read these statements, these first two, statements one and two, are describing how the graph is changing from left to right every time. We don't need to really focus on these uh, inequalities, these intervals here and here, because all they're saying is that the graph starts concave down and then it's changing to concave up. So first things first, let's find which graphs start concave up. Or sorry, start concave down. So what we'll do is find the ones that start concave up so then we can eliminate them, I guess was what I was thinking. So it's very faint, but if you look at A, it has the appearance that it had just come from a, you know, a steep slope and then it's kind of evened out so basically, what I'm getting at is this is concave up at the start. B, a little more clearly, starts concave up. And so A and B cannot be our answers because they start concave up. And given this first statement, that means the left side of the graph needs to start concave down. So that usually will help us narrow it down to C or D in this case. So to two options. And then it's always up to the last option f prime of negative 3 cannot equal 0. What does this mean? This is saying the derivative at negative 3 cannot be 0. What does it mean for the derivative at negative 3 to not be 0? Derivative just means slope. So they're saying the slope cannot be equal to 0. The slope of 0 looks like it does here in option D. The slope at negative 3 is 0 because it's flat. <laughs> And so, for the graph that has concave down, or it starts concave down, and then it changes to concave up, and has a slope not equal to zero at negative three, C is our best option. I'll do a couple more examples. Feel free to check those out.